I am the co-founder of Edoki, and we make uh, Montessori educational apps for those who, many of you probably who don't know us. Uh, when we first launched our first educational app five years ago, I remember I had a discussion with a, a VC, my first discussion with a VC, and she told me something that I think of every day. She told me this market has no barrier to entry. Well, it's not a scoop. I'm sure all of you know that it's a tough market. Um, the question is, how can we indie developers, uh, how can we indie developers exist on this market? Um, with my partner, uh, we believe that a strong brand can be a good asset to exist on this market. It can really help you stand out. So we started in 2010. We were three friends, and our name was Les Trois L, means, means three girls in French. We had one app in French and in English, and basically, France was our market. Three years later, we already had six apps. We translated them in 50 languages, and we started to be a bit less comfortable with our name. Les Trois L, I'm not sure many of you can pronounce it or know what it means and most English speakers wouldn't even dare pronounce it. So we try to improve it, removing the le, which is a big, bit confusing, which means the, or using the three in number rather than in letters, but it leads to a lot of confusion and inconsistency. So we're starting to think about our brand. What's a brand? It's not just your name or your logo. It's your product of course, and the emotional relationship you set up with your customers. So we had to rewrite our story and ask ourselves questions such as, why are we here for? Why do we exist? What do we deliver that is so unique? So we rewrite our story and we knew we had everything to make a strong brand, except maybe our visual identity and our name. We started to assess our name, comparing ourselves to the best, uh, trying to tick all the checkboxes, but um, we realized that Les Trois maybe was not the best name, maybe. So we tried to find the ideal name. We took us months, we made lists and lists, uh, but obviously it was not the best strategy. Normally when you look for something ideal, I took a random example here, random. Um, you're just going nowhere. So when you, when you look for a name, you just have to be a bit more reasonable, a bit less emotional, and find something that is maybe more the right name, not the ideal one. So we decided to work with a branding agency, and we all agree that it was the best decision. We had to leave the emotional side and we had to find a name that was talking to kids as well as parents, and that was international, and to find an international signature. Our first option was to work around Le Trazel. We didn't really want to throw everything away, and we, you know, I, I'm sure that it could have been a good option. You can always twist a name that is not so good into something that looks nice with the help of an agency obviously, but we also wanted to explore other options, T something totally new that said education, kids, fun, digital, and we tested it. We do the legal research, which is a tough part of the job, and we finally decided to go for Edoki. It's very simple, education and kids. Like this, it looks like it was finally quite easy to find, but it was not. Uh, for the visual identity, we choose to be consistent with our, the simplicity of our name and the graphics in our app. So three squares, three strong colors that we can, we can use in all our, our icons as well. Then we insisted on making a corporate identity guide because, you know, I don't know why sometimes you have a tendency to get creative with the logo, not use it properly. So it was very important to set up rules also for our team to use the logo always with the same um, rules. And then, I tell you this story in five minutes, but in fact it took us nine months. 
Then we had like a huge to-do list of things to do, updating all our apps, the icon, resubmitting, resubmitting all the apps to, to Apple and uh, Android with the new splash screens. New marketing material. We also launched a new website. So it was a tough job and of course there are always some bloopers. I think the lesson is that when you're a small team you have to be patient in this kind of process. For the story, our name on the App Store is still Les Trois L. We know that it's going to take at least 12 months to really become Edoki everywhere. And the question is, maybe you're, you want to ask me, was it, was it worth doing all this thing to have a new brand? The, the truth is that we don't really know yet because it's an ongoing process. But what we're sure of is that a Polish brand brings um, trust and credibility to your customers. It's, it's always good to have a more professional look when you discuss with VCs. I can tell you that no one tell us that we are mompreneurs anymore. And also for our team, you know now that we've hired four men, I'm sure they get more identified with Edoki than Les Trois L. So as a conclusion, I think a brand, in fact, is like a person, especially on the App Store. You see a lot of them every day, but you don't necessarily remind, remember all of them and you don't become friends with all of them, only the one you trust and you know. So, and I'm sure the difference between, between the regular coffee and the star, Starbucks coffee is just the brand equity. So um, maybe we can make the test. I don't know how many of you would choose the the blank coffee instead of the Starbucks. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Goel. That's, uh, that was really great. And uh, I think we've all been through this process of um, yeah, trying to come up with a brand name. It's really hard. One thing I disagree with, I would always choose our Godshot coffee over the Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh,